how I can calculate elements of the stiffness matrix and the force vector, right? How I can calculate them. So that uh, we are going to study now. So do you have any question? Um, yeah, Ali, I mean, just wanted to know um, the difference between natural and regular coordinates. Um, mm -hmm. you know, which, which was given an interpolation in a function. Why do we have to do that? And uh, I just wanted to know the physical conceptual idea behind that. Yes. As to what would be the consequences of considering only regular, regular coordinates? And why do we have to consider only the natural coordinates instead of regular coordinates? Yes. And how is it going to simplify? Yeah? Yes, actually, uh, good question. Good question. Why we use relative coordinate system? most of calculations are the same and we use a regular coordinate system to speed up the code to reduce the running time also it's good when we do interpolations as you know after solving the problem the important step is post processing right for example suppose you have a triangular mesh for a 2d problem right you know the value of solution variable for each mesh nodes but you want to know the value of field quantities for example for these nodes right so you should do interpolations you should do interpolations and because most of calculations are the same, it's good if we use a standard coordinate system. The finite element code is much clear. I will explain it. And also the standard coordinate is good for this analytic calculations. Suppose we are going to calculate this integral this integral 1.27 so here if i don't use the standard coordinate system this is x1 and this is x2 so what is the what is the n1 what is uh, this function n1 as a function of x actually it is this what is the slope of this line is negative 1 divided by x2 minus x1 times x minus x this is x1 this is x2 and we have a slope also we have x2 here so when x is equal x2 the value of n is 0 when it is equal x1 its value is, one, is equal to 1 so for each mesh element you have different equations right a little bit complex but if you consider this reference element because because we can translate integrals from each mesh element to a standard element to reference element so we can make integrations easier so we use this equation 1.8 for translation actually you can see this equation zeta that is the standard coordinate system is equal to times x minus x1 e x2 minus x1 minus 1 so this is the standard element from minus 1 to 1 and this is the element along x axis so in this axis i know the value of n1 and n2 our shape functions as you can see here in this graph 1 minus zeta divided by 2 and 1 plus zeta divided by 2 
So here you can translate those equations 1.27 and 1.28 to these equations 1.33 instead of calculation dn i divided by dx you can calculate dn i divided by d zeta and in this in this case we know the value of n1 and n2 in a clear form so you can calculate these integrations actually after calculation you will see that this matrix is fixed for all of mesh elements but we have only le that is variable here that is equal to 2x2 minus x1 that is element length Also, I will explain other benefit of the coordinate transformation in the next. So, it's a clear. Is it clear? Yeah, it's clear. Really. And and just just you know one one more you know, query, if you don't mind. Um, this is just you know regarding the math function of whatever stuff is happening. You know, I would I could really perceive all the conceptual part of it. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to know whether we have any function in MATLAB. Um, you know, to kind of you know convert any uh, or solve rather you know any kind of differential or integ integrating you know equations, rather than you know doing it analytically. So, can we do it you know right away in MATLAB just to see the next you, steps of uh, the integration? Uh, -uh yes. You mean uh, steps? Uh, this integration you want to do this integration by MATLAB to derive this equation yourself for practice, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. There is a good package in MATLAB that is symbolic toolbox. Mm -hmm. I will explain. I will explain. That is also a good question. You can use symbolic toolbox to avoid this calculation. So you can derive this equation by yourself to practice. I will explain. I will explain after. No problem. And just, yeah. That's it. Um, just one question on the zeta function, you know, what was defined. Mm -hmm. um, is it something which is standard or is it something, you know, for all linear equations or is that something, you know, which changes? Uh, if it's going to change, I just wanted to understand how do we formulate that zeta function? Uh, because I believe that is the nodal point from which we are deriving all the standardized matrix of uh, 1.38, right? Yes, this is. Uh, this equation is not too complex. This is just a geometry transformation. A geometry call map. Let me explain. Mm -hmm. Suppose, suppose this is, this is X axis. And this is one mesh element. Point one, point two. This is x one, and this is x two. So I want to have the corresponding element on reference coordinate system zeta. This is zero, one minus one. Can you suggest me a function to map x one to this point? and x2 to this point so because uh, we have a linear map so uh, we actually translate all of these internal points to corresponding points here 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 and so on so what is the transformation what is the map function is this one is this one if i write it here zeta is equal to times x minus x1 x2 minus x1 minus 1 so when the value of x is equal to x1 this is 0 
this term is zero and zeta is equal minus one right and when x is equal to x2 this is two and zeta is equal to one so this is a linear equation right and this will be a linear map a linear transformation so we can simplify this integration and simplify these calculations as you can see here yeah so for for any 1d formulation this is something which can be standardized or perceived as standardized correct yes yes okay and for 2D and 3D, obviously, this is something which is going to change because of the geometrical complexity. Yes, yes. Actually, the, the procedure is the same. The, the procedure mm -hmm. is the same. And if you learn the procedure for one-dimensional problems, for two-dimensional and three-dimensional are almost the same. Okay, so we calculated this matrix here. We studied the procedure of its calculation, and later I will explain you the MATLAB symbolic toolbox. So you yeah. can derive this equation by yourself for better understanding. Also, we can calculate the force vector elements of force vector we had uh, this equation 1.28 if you calculate these integrals you can uh, reach these two equations and finally to this force vector that is minus le element length times rho naught divided by 2 one and one this force vector so we have this equation for one element what are unknowns v1 and v2 right we know other parameters in this equation so this is the matrix equation for one mesh element and the next step is calculation of the same equations for other mesh elements for other mesh elements as you can see here for each mesh element we can do the same procedure and and derive corresponding equations so the next step is assembly of elements 